In this tutorial, you'll learn the smart way to place and scale graphics in Adobe InDesign. Notice I'm using Adobe InDesign CC, which stands for Creative Cloud, on the Macintosh. However, this will work with Windows as well as older versions of Creative Suite, such as CS5 or CS6. And this video is intended for beginners, but I'll include some tips and tricks for intermediate as well as advanced users. I'll begin by clicking the Adobe logo to dismiss that splash screen, and I'll choose from the file menu here in InDesign the new command, and notice it's a keyboard shortcut, Command N on the Mac or Control N on Windows. And then here in the new document dialog box, I'm simply going to choose the default print profile so that when I click OK, you'll see there's a blank sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper here. And to place graphics, you can choose from the file menu the place command, and notice there's a handy keyboard shortcut, Command D on the Mac or Control D on Windows. And then here I have a handy beach Photoshop document, so I'll simply select that. So when I click Open, you'll see that the place gun is loaded with that image. And I'm just going to aim at the intersection of the margin and column guides here, and I'm going to just click the mouse, you'll see it places the image at 100%. If you want to reposition it, you can hold down your mouse and just drag. And then here in the middle, this content grabber, which looks like a donut, that actually repositions the graphic inside of its crop window. So you can see it's cropping off the image. You can also crop by grabbing the top right corner here, and as I drag down, you can see that crops the frame. So you might choose to perhaps tidy this up a bit and position it as appropriate. Now if you want to scale the graphic, the easiest way is to use up here in the control panel. You can pop up and use one of the preset percentages, such as 75%, but watch what happens when it scales the graphic. Notice that it goes back to 100%. That's because the parent container that you see here is always at 100% the child container, if you will, or the content of the container, when I click the donut, notice that it shows the true percentage of the graphic. So you can see inside that golden rectangle there, that's the actual content of the container that's been scaled. Now let's look at how you can place multiple graphics and scale those as well. I'll go ahead and select this and just press the delete key to clear the page. And I'm going to use a product that comes with Creative Suite as well as Creative Cloud called Adobe Bridge. Now, Bridge is not automatically installed with Creative Cloud, so you may need to use your Creative Cloud application, which is up here on the Mac or down in the bottom right corner on Windows, to install Adobe Bridge. Using Bridge is a bonus, not a requirement, but it's really useful if you have a folder full of images, such as here in this, my favorite for this Place and Graphics folder, you can see there's a variety of images here. And I've given them star rankings as well as labels. And that's really useful if you want to find files especially if they're in subfolders. As you can see down here, there's three folders, icon, images, and maps. One of my favorite features of Bridge is if you right-click up here in the path bar and choose Show Items from Subfolders, it shows all of the images in all of those folders. Furthermore, you can filter once you assign labels, which you simply do by right-clicking. For example, to rank this, all I did was select it, right-click, and then from the flyout down here is where you can choose a label, such as Approved, and then you'll see these little dots here that you can increase or decrease the ranking of an image. And again, the reason that's useful is once you've labeled something, then you can further filter it over here. So when I click on Approved, you're seeing all of the four files that have been approved, regardless of which subfolders they're in. And then to place those in InDesign, I'll simply make sure the first one's selected, and then Shift-click the last one. You can also use the Control or Command keys to grab individual images. And then from the File menu here in Adobe Bridge, I'm going to use the File Place in InDesign command. Also notice you can place images in Photoshop as well as Illustrator. So I'll choose InDesign, and those images have been driven across the bridge, if you will, and ready to place in InDesign. Also notice there's a number four in parentheses indicating there's four images ready to place with the place gun. But rather than just click, I'm going to aim my mouse here, hold down and drag, and while I'm still holding down the mouse button, I'm going to tap the right arrow key on my keyboard, so I get two columns. And if I tap the up arrow, I now have two rows as well. So as I move here to the margin guide, as I let go of the mouse, you'll see now all four images have been placed. You can further scale them all while they're still selected by simply right-clicking and choosing from the fitting flyout. I typically use one of the proportional ones, such as fill frame proportionally. So you can see that all the frames have been filled. And then you can use the content grabber if you want to reposition it within the window, as you see me doing here. The other thing you should do is change the display performance by visiting the View menu, and it's a good idea to do this with no document open. 
With no files open, if you choose View Display Performance High Quality, watch the word Easy, which is an Adobe Illustrator file. You see how that renders it razor sharp. InDesign can make things look much better. You just have to activate that feature. And here's a really cool feature. I'm going to use, notice I'm on the Selection tool here. I'm just going to click off so that nothing's selected and reselect this image here. And then I'm going to right click. And there's an advanced feature here known as Object Layer Options where you can access what's known as layer comps, which is the layer visibility and position state in Adobe Photoshop. For example, notice preview is turned on here. When I choose green glow, you can see it uses a different background. Now you can simply turn off, if I turn off hands, for example, you'll see that on a, on a separate layer that appears and disappears. And if I turn this off, you can see there's just the white background there. So if I click OK, I've now used a layer comp for that particular image. You can also access clipping masks that you make in Adobe Photoshop as well. So we cover all this and much more in our Adobe InDesign as well as other Creative Cloud classes. Please visit the website here and you'll see we have regularly scheduled classes for all of the Adobe products. And if you're seeking certification such as an Adobe Certified Associate or Expert, we'll be help, happy to help you with that as well. Thanks for watching the video.